I'm sure you already know them. Okay, so you have to cut some vegetables, fruits, and flowers. Flowers petals. Next, please. Okay, so the, in this PowerPoint, they um, presentation four, five, seven. Um, they are not available in our locality except the rose. So, um, with the concept of localization, we had an alternative um, material. So we used carrots, um, dragon fruit, cassava leaves, and bougainvillea leaves. So you're going to cut them. Ne uh, next step three. Step three is early. Step three. Okay, you're going to measure 50 ml ethanol in a measuring cylinder. So, you can also, you, if you don't have ethanol, you can use isopropyl alcohol. Okay, next, step four. Okay, so you're going to pour the iso isopropyl alcohol in each glass. So, Mom Jelly is uh, doing it, pouring in the bakers. Later on, um, Sir Ruby Mark is going to... Um, pass, ay andyan na pala, so that the participants can try out. So, we've already extracted the solution and you're just going to dip the, the filter paper. Step 5. Okay, so you can use also the pencil to pound um, the, the leaves and the, yeah, the leaves to extract the, the water, the solution. Then, you have to mix well with the help of a stirrer. So, in this case, we use the two-way purpose spatulas and spoon. Okay, so keep it undisturbed for 30 minutes. Okay, then, uh, so, uh, in that uh, span of 30 minutes, uh, we have the, you're going to extract the, the solution or the liquid part of the material. So, um, actually, you'll fast forward to 30 minutes. Ano na yung magiging itsura niya? And speak, pakikuha ka. Okay. Ayan na siya. So you have to drain the isopropyl alcohol with the help of a strainer. Okay, to separate the solid part and the uh, liquid. Step 9. Okay, so there. You have already the extract of all the samples. So meron na dyan sa, sa table ko. Ayan, okay. Okay. Then, step 10. Okay, so prepare the filter paper. Next. Then, Okay, then step 12. Okay, so that's the skewer or barbecue stick. Next, step 13. Okay, then 14. Step 14. Okay, so you're going to hang it. No, so you can try sa mga tables. Ayan. Next, we have step number 15. Malapit na siya. Okay, so you will give 30 minutes for to see the, to watch the solvent rise up the paper. Okay, so fast forward to um, 30 minutes. No, tapos na. So next. Okay, so ideally 30 minutes to 1 hour. Then, you have to take out the filter paper. So, Ma'am Jalil, paki, ano sa kanila? Yan yung sa cassava leaves. So, you can see there, there are different colors na makikita. Later, let's analyze kung ano-anong klase ng mga pigments yan. So, step 17. Okay. So, in this case, ito yung sa spinach leaves. So, yung kanyang katumba sa aming experiment ay yung sa cassava leaves. So you have there the carotenes, the xanthophyll, chlorophyll A, and chlorophyll B, and anthocyanin. Later on, merong explanation kung ano yan sila. Uh, let's check out step 18. Okay, so ayan na yung pinitsura namin kanina sa kasaba. And then, next po. Ayan. Okay, next. Okay, so here are the plant pigments that you can see. So, uh, earlier you have the chlorophyll A, so the color is blue-green. So, mamaya yan, blue-green ang makikita. Then yung yellow-green, that's the chlorophyll B. Oh, then yung sa carotene, kasi meron din tayong carrots, dyan, bright yellow. So, hydrocarbons, doesn't contain O2. Then you have also the xanthophyll. 
So we have there the pale yellow green. It contains oxygen. Okay, and then the last one is the anthocyanin. So makikita siya sa yung sa dragon fruit at sa bougainvillea. So from orange to red and purple to blue. So uh, anthocyanin pigment is responsible for the color of the beets, berries, yung autumn leaves. Then, ito yung mga function niya can be found in the vacuole of the plant. Okay, type vacuole functions as a storage for water, minerals, and other substances. Type of flavonoid um, compound with antioxidant effect to treat hypertension, colds, and UTI. So, yun lang po. Separate chromatography is the process by which we can separate the different plant pigments. So, thank you so much. So, wait na lang po natin mamaya uh, pag nag, uh, tumaas na siya. Uh, before I turn over the microphone to Sir Ron, um, yung may two phases pala siya. Yung hinahang natin yung filter paper, that's called the stationary phase kasi hindi siya gumagalaw yung filter paper. While the liquid is, yung umaakyat siya sa filter paper via capillary action. That's what we call the mobile phase. So, yun lang. Thank you, sir. Nita, now.